Oh my God, very dark man has responded. Um, it seems that this story is becoming very interesting because the kind of revelation we are receiving from this story is very alarming. So guys, if you have not been following this story from very dark man, Bob Risky, Mr. Falana, Fast and all that, I believe you should join us here. We are going to be giving you updates upon updates concerning this particular story and allegation from very dark man, Bob Risky. So let us first of all watch the response from very dark man to Fast and Mr. Falana. All right. Um, so, in respect to what Faust the bad guy posted, a letter that says I should retract my statement and I should apologize um, for defaming him. Um, first of all, before Faust posted that, Sean Kuti called me and he said, I'm very dark man. I just finished speaking with Faust the bad guy. I want you to call him. I'll send you his number. I want you to call him so that you guys can talk. You know, and I said, Egon, I don't want to talk to Faust. Then he said, um, no. You need to hear what he wants to say, you know? And then um, I sent files a message, we got on a call. And then when we got on a call, then he said he wasn't happy. Then I said, how far? Then he started talking, you know, I said, ah, he said, he was started talking about defamation, that he wasn't happy. Then I said, files, I thought you're calling me to tell me your own side of the story so that I will know what's up, you know? But um, I don't understand what's going on now. So at a point in the conversation, I felt like Faust was recording me, you know, and then I said, Faust, I feel like you're recording me. I feel like you're trying to get evidence for me or trying to make me say something so that you can hold me by my wrist, you know. And then when I said it, he could not defend that, you know, then he went on saying things like, um, since you know me on social media or my family, have you ever heard anything negative about myself or my father? I said, I have never heard anything negative about your father, Femi Falano. However, you yourself have heard something negative about you. Then he said, what have you heard about me? Then I said, uh, my bro, it is for my own consumption and not for me to tell you, you know. So it was almost as if he was trying to pick my brain to know what I know and the length of things that I know. Well, anyways, that's by the way. Then um, the whole conversation ended up with me telling Faust that, thank God you are a lawyer, so you will not need to pay a lawyer to stand for you in court. But as for me, I did not defame you, and I'm standing that I did not defame you. So I will see you in court. That's number one. All right, guys, welcome back. And let me quickly give you the background of this story, because if you are watching this particular drama for the first time maybe you don't know what happened what has transpired it all started when very dark man posted an audio from bob risky confessing how mr falana and fast helped him to secure a deal to remove the alleged of money laundering from his current charge against the efcc and there was also an allegation that Bob Risky did not serve his daytime in prison. So this allegation after the audio message from very dark man, uh, Bob Risky responded and denied it. And also uh, Fast, you know, the son of Mr. Falana also responded and gave very dark man 24 hours to retract that statement and openly apologize, which will be posted in all the social media and all that. And naturally, you will think that, oh, maybe very dark man will be very scared. He will sound giving you ultimatum to retract your statement and all that, and tender apology posted to all the social media and all that. I believe one may think that very dark man will just or do as they said, or the reverse is the case, very dark man still for your head and not that. He also responded to Mr. Falana, the son. Quickly, let us watch what he said about Mr. Falana. All right, um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano, and I will never, ever, ever defame Uncle Femi Falano. Uncle Femi Falano, SAN, is somebody that I respect 100%, not because of his position as an as a SAN, but because of what he has used the position to do, representing the likes of me. 
the likes of me that speak against the ills of the society, abuse of power, abuse of influence, and also the bad dealings of the government. Uncle Falano have represented the likes of me and a lot of other activists. I am not an activist, however, but he has represented a lot of people that I personally know. Now, one other person that he represents that made me love him more is Fela Nikola Pokuti. Fela Nikola Pokuti is a role model to me, and I saw the way he spoke fearlessly, and I emulated everything, and I said, if I'll be on this earth, I will say it the way I feel it, and I will say it straight up. So imagine Uncle Femi Falano defending somebody like Fela. That means I extended the love to Uncle Femi Falano. Imagine somebody like Fela, Jesus Christ. All right, guys, I believe this story just began. Um, I want you to join us here because as we have the update from Very Dark Man, we are going to also give you the latest update and give you on this platform. So that is why you need to join us here. If you are watching us on YouTube, you need to subscribe. On Facebook, please follow us, Niger Now. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video.